No man do they call me. My mother and my father, and all my comrades as well. Hey everybody. So, one of my most popular story series features Og the Ogren. And I've written Ogrens for a good long while now, and this is a topic I wanted to cover for some time. For whatever reason, now seems like as good a time as any. Uh, so let's dive right in. How intelligent are Ogrens? Uh, if we look at the lore, we see them depicted as comically dim and unable to do even simple tasks. Uh, Ogrens are described as being unable to follow complex orders. Uh, they can understand things like go forward, go backward, attack, uh, but they can't understand something like attack the enemy trench and hold it. Uh, it's simply, it's just too many directions for them to keep in their minds according to the lore. Uh, now, particularly intelligent ogrens can get bone implants and then they can become boneheads and become smarter. Um, and the best example we have of one of these in the lore uh, is Nork Dedog, who is famously the most intelligent ogren bonehead. Uh, and he has pretty dizzying mental prowess as far as ogrens are concerned. Uh, and this allows him to remember that his name starts with N and he is able to count to four. As far as we uh, know uh, regarding Ogrens in the lore, he kind of demonstrates the limit of Ogren intellectual capacity. So my point in going over all this is that the intelligence level of Ogrens, uh, as it's written, doesn't really make sense. Um, because if they are as dull as they're described, uh, then they'd just be a hazard on any battlefield. Um, if Ogrens can't follow more than one order at a time, uh, are they capable of learning how to put on their uniform and gear? Uh, what about tying their boots? That can be fairly complicated. Uh, does anyone have to dress them? Does, if they can't dress themselves, does somebody else have to help them? Uh, how difficult is it to dress uh, what amounts to uh, a toddler when the toddler is three meters tall and weighs close to half a ton? Uh, are they taught how to handle their weapons, which are essentially giant auto shotguns? Do they know not to point them at other people? Uh, do they know about trigger discipline? Do they know how to use grenades properly? What are their responsibilities when they're in camp? So these, these are kind of issues... I try to explore in the Og the Ogren series and, and pretty much anything where I'm writing about Ogrens, um, though Governor Greg is, is much more comical, I think. Um, basically, I'm trying to make the Ogrens make more sense uh, because as they're written, which I think is more to be funny than it is trying to accurately depict uh, a simple-minded giant fighting on the battlefield, um, I mean, it, it just doesn't make sense because, like, uh, it doesn't make sense for Nork to not be able to count past four, uh, because when you learn to count, you learn by counting on your fingers. So it would make more sense that he could count to five, since you have five fingers on a, on a, on a hand, or he couldn't count past ten, or he could get up to ten. Like, that would make more sense. Four is just, it, it's just a low number, so it's funny. Um, which is fine, like, I don't mind, I think the lore is funny regarding them, but as far, if I actually try to write Ogrens, it doesn't make sense to hard stick to these lore restrictions. Um, because if we take these kind of descriptions of Ogrens at, at face value, uh, Nork de Dog's mental abilities, uh, and consider those to be exceptional, Ogrens are simply unusable as troops. You, you literally couldn't get them to be anything but dangerous to themselves and everyone around them on the battlefield. Um, you might be able to give them crude weapons and kind of herd them towards the enemy, like crude melee weapons, um, kind of in the way uh, that Chaos cultists or, or Chaos Space Marines will um, wrangle and kind of herd Chaos spawns into battle. They're just kind of flailing, dangerous, crazy things. Uh, but I personally would not give guns to anyone whose mental capacity is eclipsed by a four-year-old child. 
Um, so what's the solution? Uh, I think the simplest answer is you increase the mental age of Ogrins a little. Um, the way uh, Games Workshop describes them, sometimes they sound uh, like they're even less mentally capable than like my dogs. Like my dogs can follow two orders. I can tell my dog, uh, you know, come inside or and, or and uh, come over here. Let's get in the car or whatever. I can I can give my dogs a couple different orders and they and they can combine them. They're they're smart enough to do that. Um, but I think generally when they're being written, they sound like they're mentally between the ages of two and four, with boneheads being four. Um, when I write, I tend to make Ogrens roughly six years old mentally, and I make boneheads about ten years old, um, relative to what their capacities on what they can do. Uh, in this way, they can still be like dim, and have that simple-minded quality, uh, but they can actually be useful in a battlefield if you just give them a little bit more brain power. Um, when I write Ogrens, I actually draw on my experience as a child because we played Army Man games a lot when I was a kid. Um, I used to play with my cousins, and the big kids basically bossed around the little kids, and we all marched around with sticks and pretended to shoot e at each other, and that's a little bit of what I wanted to capture, the way Ogrens think about being in the guard. Like, it's kind of a game to them, uh, and they want to be the best, and they love the Emperor because he's big and good, and, you know, yeah, and I, I kind of think they that captures their childlike uh, quality and also the tragedy that these uh, big-hearted giants uh, are used in these massive wars of attrition and, you know, everyone just wants to protect the poor little ogrins and don't want to let anything bad happen to them. Um, the other reason I boost their intelligence is because I think if they're too dumb, uh, they simply can't function as characters. Like, if I made Og dumb and not like a smart ogrin, if he couldn't do things, um, it, he just wouldn't work. He wouldn't function as a character. They basically need to be smart enough to actually make decisions. Um, so yeah, that's why the reason I increase the intelligence of my ogrins. That's my thoughts on uh, the intelligence of ogrins as they're written. Uh, and I basically increase them a bit past the capacity that they're described as having in the lore. I just think it makes more sense from a world building perspective uh, and a character perspective. So yeah, anyway, I'm No Man, and thank you for coming to my TED Talk. But if you're uh, actually interested in this kind of behind-the-scenes talk or explanation or, you know, me just blabbering on my thoughts, you can join my Patreon, and I will post these sorts of videos on a close-to-weekly basis. Um, anyway, I hope you all found this interesting and enjoyable. No man out.